Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys the underdog story of Pyramid. Pyramid is one of those heroes that, again, he's not great, but he's about average. And certainly your opponents are never going to give you credit for that. With Battlegrounds being a game of opportunity, you want to level up, tear up, and take on risks at moments that you think you're going to be up against a weak opponent. And often enough, when you see a hero like Pyramid and a few others like Jaraxxus and Patches, for example, or Patchwork, for that matter, um, you take a bit more risk against them. And it's one factor that a lot of people don't really consider when you're playing these weaker heroes. Yes, they are weaker heroes, and sometimes they're just average heroes in the case of Pyramid, in my experience, but your opponents are going to give you an easier time playing the game, and that's really important. That's gonna give you just about enough time to artificially increase the power level of the hero and get out a strategy where you can actually put yourself in a position to win. And I've done very well with Pyramid. He's been one of my better heroes in this patch cycle for Battlegrounds, and today I want to give you guys one of my better runs with him once again. Hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you guys next time. Pyramid can work if he gets a decent start. Others are literally not doing Marlocks. I just mentioned it while I was talking in that last sentence. Last game, nobody had a single Murloc. No one was playing Murlocs, no one was playing Menagerie, no one was playing like mixed minions with a Murloc with Poisoner thrown in. Not one of the other seven players had a single Murloc. What's your strategy this time, partner? They all had them in their hands, oh of course. Yes, Murlocs. Have a good battle, Maybe this time. Any defeat that doesn't destroy you makes you stronger. I don't know if I should get that. Fine, I'll try it. It really isn't that good, but actually, I don't know. I really need a token. Nah, I really need a token. Uh, that's, that's not going to help enough. Work out there. Keep up the pressure. AFK, are you shitting me? Yeah, opening round AFK. Every single AFK I've played against in the last like week has got demons. There we go, demons. Sniped. And miss. Fresh recruits for you. Alright. I think actually I'm gonna sell that. Order a hero power. Alright. No, that was opening round AFK. Yeah. So I had to get Xerus. But the rest was the perfect high roll, so it's good enough to beat anything. Dude, I just want to fucking break. Like, like a match against the least here should be a pretty easy win. I'm I'm at that point where I've lost like a hundred fucking coin flips in a row, and I'd like to win a couple in a row. That's that's where I'm at right now. That's pretty lucky, I guess. Sure. Yog. Uh, I think order's good. Keep up the momentum, friend. It's not likely to make it very far. Yeah, that's pretty alright. Unlikely we lose this one. Oh. Now nah, we got it. 
Oh. I'm okay with that. Welcome back. How's it going out there? Missing a lot of murlocs on these. I got pretty high health though. If I can get a cold light seer, we can make some magic happen. Alright. As long as I don't take a loss to like seven tokens, it should be good. Just hit one of those. Okay, that's good. good. That's... Oh my god, I'm gonna take a loss to seven tokens. Oh no, we're good, we're good. We didn't kill it. Alright, we took six less damage because we didn't kill it. GG token mechanics. Alright. Van Cleef playing demons. No fours I actually want. No, I don't think so. <gasps> Alright. Let's see if I can get another Murloc. Mm, no, not that one though. That's pretty good. I can't really play it. I have to do this. My mistake. Yeah, I guess I could. I guess I could do this. Alright. Alright. That's not bad. That's not bad. Alright, I need to hit this. 50-50. Nice. That's not good. Uh oh. Should be fine as long as that one doesn't truck it into the cobalt too quickly. Fine. Any defeat that doesn't destroy you makes you stronger. Let's go. That's a great AFK and the rampaging demons that's never lost. It's good to get some minions in play. Alright. I don't know if I'll win, but I shouldn't lose too much if I if I don't win. Yeah, zero Murloc players again. That's three games in a row, not one person going Murlocs besides me. That should tell you it's really it's a really bad idea, but still. 2-2 two, two first. No, not against likely demon taunts. Against demon taunts, we want to buff those as much as possible because we don't have a taunt of our own, so that they're likely to get attacked. Oh! Best target to hit. Best target to hit. Best target to hit. Worst target to hit. Horrible attack order. Horrible. Seriously horrible. Alright, Curator's playing Beasts and he just got smoked. So, what we're gonna do here... ...is this. A good tactical choice. Okay. I might lose, but Beast does not do 16 damage. He was 3 last turn. He does not do 16 damage on 3. And I think we can probably beat most Beast builds anyway. Bad play? Well, leveling there is a no-brainer. Um, what do you think I should have sold? You think I should have sold the Cold Lights here? It's just, again, again against Beasts, the uh, spawn on Azoth is pretty bad. Against Beasts, you want to snipe shit as fast as possible. You don't want to be like, yeah, I'll just get plus one, plus one with Spot and Azoth, and then again. No, he's getting like gigantic hyenas in the meantime. You gotta, you gotta snipe him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why does he have so many taunts? Okay. Ouch. Ouch. 
Uh, okay. Well, a win's a win. Uh, I'll be honest, I didn't expect like three taunts, two with Divine Shield against someone playing beasts. Nice work out there. Keep up. Yogg is playing mechs. The Battlemaster is good against mechs, but nah. I want to do a little better. Can potentially triple that. Taunt is also good. That'll probably die this round. I'd want to hold off on Taunt. Oh, okay. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. It's a little challenging. We get double, double, double with this play. And it doesn't sabotage potential health buffs because we're saving two cold lights. He's dead. I'm actually first place. I'm not gonna roll off here, because we might end up playing a Toxfin. And let's buff one of them. Demons. I guess I need the poison then. Bad call. I'm just trying to stay alive. Oh, it's a tie. That one has enough health. Okay, we're good. We just tied the guy with a seven win streak. I've got some fresh recruits for you. Go big or go home, I always say. Okay, that's good to know. That's shit. What the hell? Okay. Where you're going with this? That'll do some damage. Will consume you. Everything is tr uh, poison except the 37 attack card. <laughs> This guy's the other major winner. Seven wins in a row. Easy. So far he's very dead. Seven wins in a row to dead. Rafam had seven wins in a row, and then I tied him. This is not a very big Murloc roll. But it's just, like, good enough. Hey, a triple! Here's your reward!
It's small attackers first and a soul juggler. I think I'm gonna do taunt. It's much easier to buff. I think I'd rather just roll twice. Oh, is that four health? Okay. Typically these games are wins or ties. Very low chance to lose. It's over. We won with Murlocs, except they kinda sucked. But alright, whatever. Yeah, I, I just got pretty lucky, like, all of the strong players in this game were big demons. And big demons just doesn't win against poisonous murlocs. Woo! We did it!